The Shaw Siblings and the White Rose Hans and Sophie Scholl lived with their family in Ulm, Germany, when the National Socialists took power in 1933. They were raised in a liberal Christian family. However, the Scholl children were fascinated with National Socialism. Hans quickly made a name for himself in the Hitler Youth. At the age of 16, he commanded a group of 160 boys. Sophie also joined the Nazi Union of German Girls. Like her brother, Sophie soon had a leadership position in the group. By the end of the 1930s, both of them grew disappointed with Nazism. First, they were outraged at the public burnings of books and pieces of the so-called degenerate art, which was virtually modern art and was forbidden in Nazi Germany. They also realized how horrible the goals of National Socialism were. In 1942, Hans was called to the Eastern Front for three months, where he witnessed the massacre of civilians and other atrocities. A group willing to protest against the Nazi government formed around Hans at the University of Munich in 1942. Four medical students, Hans Scholl, Christoph Probst, Alexander Schmorell, and Willi Graf, and Professor Kurt Huber formed the core of the group. Sophie would join them later in the year when she moved to Munich. They called their resistance group the White Rose. They published leaflets to spread their views, leaving them in public spots. The flyers were also distributed in other German cities, such as Berlin and Hamburg. Due to a shortage of paper, they were only able to make a couple of thousand copies each time. Yet, their six leaflets caused a tremendous stir among students, who were not used to public dissent against the Nazi regime. On the 18th of February, 1943, Sophie and Hans were distributing the sixth flyer at the university. The siblings were discovered and arrested, and the draft for the seventh leaflet was found in Hans's pocket. On the 22nd of February, 1943, a Nazi court sentenced Hans Scholl, Sophie Scholl, and Christoph Probst to death. They were executed by guillotine a few hours later. Hans's last words were, Long live freedom! Before the end of World War II, the seventh leaflet was smuggled out of Germany and handed to the advancing allies. They printed millions of copies and airdropped them throughout the country. Somebody, after all, had to make a start. What we wrote and said is also believed by many others. They just don't dare express themselves as we did. Zulfi